In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for CuSO4 plus SrNO32. This is copper 2 sulfate, and here we have strontium nitrate. So the first thing we need to do, we need to balance the molecular equation. This is our molecular equation. It's already balanced, so that's kind of good. Next, we need to write the states for each substance. So if you know your solubility rules, sulfates in general, with a few exceptions, they're soluble. So because this is soluble, we write AQ, aqueous. It's dissolved in water. It'll break apart into its ions. Nitrates are also very soluble. So AQ, and then we have another nitrate, AQ. And we said that sulfates are soluble with a few exceptions. So here's the solubility rules, a brief set of them. And we see for most sulfates are soluble, here are the exceptions, mostly group two, and there's strontium. So strontium sulfate here, that's going to be insoluble. We're going to put an S because it's going to be a solid. When these react, it forms this precipitate. A solid falls to the bottom of our test tube. So we have our states. Next, we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions, and that gives us the complete ionic equation. So sulfate, the whole thing is two minus. That means the copper is two plus. So we have our copper two ions, Cu2 plus. I won't write the states now. Let's write those at the end. And then I have the sulfate ion. That's at SO4, two minus. Strontium, that's in group two. That's two plus. The whole nitrate ion is one minus. So we have the strontium ion, Sr2 plus. And then for the nitrate, we have two of these nitrate ions here. So these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, we said the nitrate is negative, then the copper is going to be 2 plus. So we'll have our copper 2 plus ion here again. And then we'll also have two of the nitrate ions. For the strontium sulfate here, that's a solid. Because it's a solid, it's a precipitate. We don't split those apart in net ionic equations. So we're just going to keep that together. So this is what we call the complete ionic equation. Now, to get to the net ionic equation, we need to cross out the spectator ions. So in the reactants, we have this copper two ion. We also have it here in the products. That's a spectator ion. We're going to cross that out. And then we have two nitrate ions here. And we have those in the products, spectator ions. We cross them out. And what's left, that's the net ionic equation for CuSO4 plus SrNO32. I'll clean this up. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for the CuSO4 plus SrNO3 2, copper sulfate and the strontium nitrate. The atoms are balanced, and you'll note the charge. We have 2 plus, 2 minus. That adds up to 0, net charge of 0. This is neutral in the products, net charge of 0. So charge is conserved as well. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.